All right, so I've got a great question from Laura here, and Laura is a student of this course, and she said, what's the difference between CPA marketing and affiliate marketing, okay? Because obviously one of the lectures that I went out and I put out in the original you know, version of this course was that you could potentially use, and I just remade it, which is the video you just watched, um, you can potentially use CPA marketing as well, right? So you can use affiliate marketing, you can also use CPA marketing, but you might as well just use them both because they're very, very similar, okay? So to recap what that actually is, affiliate marketing, you are getting paid to refer a customer to a product or service and you're getting a commission for that. We'll use this as a terrible example. Well, this is probably a better one. These are headphones that I use for editing, right? So if I go out there in the editing portion of this course and I recommend that you go out and purchase these editing hot headphones because it allows you to hear the sound quality more crisp and you know it, there it's a really real game changer it's gonna let you make you know better production quality videos by editing better or whatever the sales pitch is right and I recommend that you go through the affiliate link in that actual lecture and purchase these headphones maybe these headphones cost $50 and I get you to purchase them well the company makes $50 so they win you get headphones that are great so you win and I win because the company pays me a referral commission for sending you to purchase these right Maybe that referral commission is five bucks, maybe it's 30 bucks, right? So then the company's still profitable at, you know, maybe five to 10 bucks if this costs them $10 to make or whatever, right? They're, they, they haven't done or spent any marketing dollars because I referred you and I made the sale for them. So everybody wins here, right? That's affiliate marketing where I refer a customer or you refer a customer to a product or service or a company who then pays you a referral commission for that, okay? Or an affiliate commission. Now. With CPA on the, I almost went this way, we'll say affiliate marketing's over here. With CPA on the other hand, you're not actually referring a sale um, or a customer, right? You're referring a potential sale, a potential customer, and a lead to a company, okay? So if I were to say, you know, I don't know, maybe the same company that created these headphones went out and they created a landing page where they were doing a giveaway to say like, hey, if you sign up to their email list, every 100 person is gonna win a free pair of these, right? And they've already identified what a potential lead is worth to them and they've already identified what they're willing to pay a CPA marketer like yourself or me to refer a lead to them because they know that every lead maybe is worth $1.50 to them potentially um, because they convert a certain amount of people and they're willing to pay 50 cents or a dollar per lead that they get because then they're still profitable, okay? If that doesn't make sense, just rewind the video, rewatch that, it'll all make sense if you watch it like once or twice, okay? So to recap, with affiliate marketing, I'm referring you to you know, buy this and then I get a commission for you know, referring the sale. With CPA marketing, I'm just telling you, hey, sign up for this landing page potentially, whether you're giving your name, your number, or your, affiliate, your email a lot of times, the best converting one, little caveat, I know this isn't a CPA marketing course, but the best converting CPA marketing links are usually the ones, um, and CPA marketing offers are usually the ones that are single opt-in, right? So you only need to get the person to sign up with their email through the link, because everybody's willing to give their email out, it doesn't really cost you anything, right? So. With CPA marketing, I'm literally getting people to sign up for a list or a landing page, and I'm getting a commission, a small CPA commission for that, just for sending a potential lead that's interested in that to a company. So obviously the company then needs to spend their marketing dollars and their, you know, do their marketing to then convert that lead to a customer, okay? So the benefits of both of those, they're very, very similar, but the benefits of affiliate marketing is obviously you get paid a higher commission because the company's working with more money to pay you because they've already made the sale, right? Although your conversion rates are gonna be a little bit lower because you actually have to make that sale. The customer has to pull their wallet out to actually make the purchase, right? Now, on the other hand, with CPA marketing, the benefit of CPA marketing is you're gonna convert a lot higher people, right? So your conversion rates and getting people to actually sign up through the link are gonna be a lot higher because you're gonna, it's gonna be easier for you to get somebody to sign up through an email list you know, and give their email away than maybe like 50 bucks or 10 bucks or five bucks or whatever and get somebody to pull their wallet out, right? So it's a lot easier to convert somebody on a single opt-in where you're basically getting them to sign up their email for you know, a CPA link potentially, although you're getting a much lower commission because you know, you're not making that sale, you're just recommending a lead, okay? So those are the differences. Um, great question, Laura, on CPA marketing versus affiliate marketing and the benefits and the drawbacks of both. But as always, for most people in this situation, I don't say just pick one or the other. You might as well use them both, right? If you just wanna stick with affiliate marketing, that's totally fine. But if you just wanna stick with CPA marketing, that's totally fine as well. But you might as well just use them both. They're both potential tools in your metaphorical affiliate marketing or CPA marketing or marketing tool belt, so to speak. So great question. I hope that that answers your question.